Welcome to Leap a Life. This is the OnePlus 9 Pro. It's been out for about a month now, and from YouTube reviews at launch, this phone is definitely a no-go. Recently, there's an update with a bunch of improvements, but both obvious and less obvious issues. We could say that this is a better phone than what it was last month, but with a price tag starting at 969 USD. This market is already packed with the most high-end, bleeding-edge smartphone, and is OnePlus able to squeeze in that bracket? Let's find out right now. OnePlus has been known for its great specs at great price. Then later, they revolves around speed, but this time, OnePlus focus point has moved from speed to camera. They shifted the partnership from McLaren to Hasselblad to strengthen up its camera game. Do things really improve? Surprisingly, it does. The OnePlus 9 Pro comes with a 48 megapixel main camera, 50 megapixel ultra wide, which is the same on the Oppo Find X3 Pro, 8 megapixel telephoto, and a 2 megapixel monochrome as a cherry on top. The camera sensor on this phone is not actually Hasselblad's. It is Sony's for the most part, like many other phones in the market. But what Hasselblad did for OnePlus is color tuning which is much much harder than making a good sensor and it contributes a ton to making a good camera and as a result the photo came out looking pretty natural looking I didn't have a chance to try the OnePlus 9 Pro out before the update so I can't comment on that but the photo I got from this camera is really nice with a true to life color it has good contrast but there is a lot of digital sharpening added to the photos that sometimes look unnatural the big question is does it perform as good as OnePlus said? I'll be doing a camera comparison in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. The build quality has been a stronger side for OnePlus for a long time, and this time, they kept their standard, with a high quality glass sandwich design paired with this very nice aluminum rails all around. It feels really good and sturdy in hand. The only problem I'll have to complain about is the glossy finish on this morning mist colorway. While opt for the glossy finish, matte would have been much better. Just like it does on the OnePlus 8 Pro. But luckily, there is a free case with a soft touch material inside. So aside from that, it is a greatly built phone. The alert slider, which is very exclusive to OnePlus phone, is still here. It is really great, and I prefer hardware like this rather than software toggle anytime. The display on OnePlus phones are among the top as always. It is a 6.7 inch, 1440p, 120Hz LTPO display with 10 bit color support, just like on the X3 Pro. It is a great display with vibrant color and plenty bright for day to day use, even under the sun. It is very responsive but definitely not at the Mi 11 level. Everything about this display is awesome, except for one thing, the LTPO part. If you're already familiar with the LTPO display, it allows the display to refresh at different refresh rates, just like on the S21 series, which we actually did a video about. Check it out in the link in the description. The problem is, I only get two refresh rates for this phone, 120 and 60. One thing I found really annoying is the placement of the fingerprint sensor. It was placed too low comparing to other phones in the market. I mean, why? I still can't get my hands around this problem. Other than that, it is fast and accurate. And over time, I eventually get used to it, but it would be more pleasant to have it a little higher. The OnePlus 9 Pro comes with its signature Oxygen OS. It is probably the cleanest launcher. Aside from the Pixel, it is fast and snappy. There will be bugs occasionally, no big deal, but from years of using OnePlus phones, I could say that there are more bugs than there used to be. Performance wise, it is equipped with a Snapdragon 888, and it chews through everything you throw at it, either multitasking, productivity work, or even hard gaming. The battery life is pretty okay. It lasted a day with moderate use and has a little tad bit left. 
It is a decently sized 4500 mAh battery, no big deal. But with the 120Hz screen and Quad HD resolution and Snapdragon 888 chipset, 4500 seems a little let down. Maybe 4800 mAh would make a lot of difference. OnePlus did compensate this small battery with the super fast 65W Thwarp charge. It is ridiculously fast. OnePlus claimed 45 minutes of 0 to 100. And from using this phone for a week, it is completely true. It's not the fastest charging out there, but it's plenty fast for everyday use. From testing this phone out for about a week, I felt like OnePlus played a safe game for this year. They'll be spending millions of dollars over 3 years with Hasselblad just for the camera partnership. So does this mean they have less budget for other R&D? Because to me, this felt just like its predecessor, the OnePlus 8 Pro, but with a refreshed hardware of course. The dimensions and the weights are nearly identical. The feeling in hand is very similar. And the overall user experience? If I haven't known that this is a OnePlus 9 Pro, I'll be thinking that this is just 8 Pro. There aren't any other noticeable refinements or improvements I've experienced so far. It just felt like the same phone from last year. The camera they boasted about on Twitter isn't anything out of the ordinary. It is a good set of camera, don't get me wrong, but it's just not at the top of the line flagship level just yet. To me, the iPhone, Samsung, or even Xiaomi still have better camera performance than on the OnePlus 9 Pro. But the partnership with Hasselblad has just started. There are two more years for improvements. So let's hope the OnePlus could eventually catch up to the rest of the market. So now, let's talk about the value. And should you buy this phone? It is $969. So OnePlus positioned the 9 Pro to compete with the high-end market. If you are in the market around $1,000, I would say go for the iPhone 12 Pro or the S21 Plus. Or you can save some money and go for the Mi 11 instead. It is a great phone. We did a review on that too so you can check it out in the link in the description. So what do you guys think about the OnePlus 9 Pro? Do you think it's worth it? Or which phone will you get? Comments down below. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to see more great contents in the future. See you guys next time, stay safe.